Um, but the major story we're seeing in the news right now is the collapse of the Afghan government and takeover by the Taliban. How much blame do you think President Biden deserves for that country falling into Taliban hands in such a short time frame? Well, I kind of went back and looked. Uh, Trump, April, getting out of Afghanistan, a wonderful positive thing to do. Uh, chastising Biden for not doing it more quickly. And then earlier, Trump said uh, uh, he was bragging about how he started the withdrawal process and claimed the Biden administration is powerless to stop it. He cut the deal with the Taliban, uh, and Biden was handed that. It's the right decision to get out. Uh, we stayed way too long. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I mean, we did not look at uh, history. Uh, the British Empire, the Soviet Union. Uh, you know, my brother's an expert in that region, actually, intelligence services. And he said, after we took out the original Taliban, he said, okay, time to leave, build a big monument, tell them they messed with us. And uh, we came, we conquered. And if they mess with us again, we'll come back, but don't stay. And uh, he was right. Uh, we spent an amazing amount of money trying to uh, build a military in our image. Uh, doesn't fit their culture, the warlord culture, uh, anything. Uh, it was inappropriate. And essentially, with what the Post revealed last year and uh, things that are coming out now, we were lied to, just like during Vietnam, even though Rummy uh, poo-pooed the idea that this would be like Vietnam at the beginning. Uh, we've been lied to consistently for years about the capabilities or the possibility of the Afghans actually defending themselves. And now, uh, with the, their abject uh, surrender, uh, the Taliban is better armed than ever with U.S. weapons. Uh, it's a tragedy, but it, uh, it was inevitable. Uh, it was inevitable when Bush diverted us from Afghanistan and we had all our allies there. Even Iran was supporting us. Uh, and when, when we originally went in after Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden, but when they diverted to Iraq, the die was cast. Right. And, and I hear you, Congressman, lots of blame here over the, the course of the past few decades, including um, four different presidencies, uh, George Bush, President Obama, um, President Trump, who did negotiate that agreement with the Taliban and, and, and now President Biden. But I'm wondering, you know, the circumstances of the withdrawal, what we've seen has been really uh, pure chaos and a scrambling, you know, government to evacuate not only U.S. citizens, but our Afghan allies. Do you think that mm. they could have done anything better to mitigate this chaos that we're seeing right now? Um, yes, perhaps if we'd had better intel uh, and it started uh, six weeks or two months ago before we started, uh, before the uh, Afghan government started losing major provincial capitals, we could have moved people uh, to uh, a safe place, uh, moved them to Kabul and now moved them to the airport. Uh, and for the people at the airport and the people that can access the airport, the people who are allies of the U.S., uh, you know, they need to cut the red tape and get those people out. Uh, and we need to do as best as we can to provide for safe passage to the airport for those people. You know, this broke my brother's heart. He was in Vietnam. His interpreter saved his life. His blood pressure was something over zero when he got medevaced. Uh, and he tried for years to get his interpreter out. Couldn't do it. Uh, and this is going to break the hearts of a lot of our troops uh, who put everything on the line, a lot of our diplomats uh, and others who worked uh, with these Afghans who helped us uh, to try and uh, change the course of history in their country and were unsuccessful. So we have to do more and do better. And it should have started sooner. But that's at this point, that's uh, that's water under the bridge. We're just going to do better now.